Hey guys, what's up? It's Frank Ramirez, and it's so nice to have you back. I've been out for a little while, as you guys probably have noticed. Um, I just haven't really been feeling it lately, so it's been kind of dying down a little bit, but I'm gonna try to bring it back. I know I feel a little bit more enthusiastic about filming than I did for the past couple weeks, so I think things will start picking up soon. But thanks for sticking with me. For those who have stuck with me so far, um, it's been awesome. And for all the new people that have joined me, thank you so much too. It's nice to have you on board. Today is Featured Friday, and to be honest, I've reshot this uh, twice already. And the reason I reshot it twice is because, well, the first time that I was supposed to put it on there, I just really didn't get the time to. And then the next week, I didn't just upload it. So this week, I look a little bit more fresh. I got a haircut, if you haven't noticed. And I just thought it'd be a nice way to really do this one well. And it's hopefully gonna be a little bit shorter than the ones I usually put out. So let's get right into it and let's go. So for today's Future Friday, we only have one person again. And I chose the hardest name. No, I'm just kidding. He's not the hardest name, but it's a difficult name for me to pronounce. I honestly have no idea exactly how to say it. So I'm just gonna just wing it. Actually, I don't even remember what it is. So give me one second. It is Nemanja. Nemanja, Nemanja, I don't know. It's, I'll put it down here. His Instagram is right here, boom. Sorry buddy, I always forget how to say your name, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so there's two reasons why I chose this creator for today. And those are, one, because he has really great tones throughout all of his pictures. So going down the list, you can see all the stuff that he has and it's really nice, dark and moody, which really caught my eye. I think they're really cool looking and I think they're really interesting to see. And then second is because he's from Serbia and I have no idea what Serbia is like. I mean, I've never really been interested or really thought about looking up Serbia like on Google Maps or something like that. So I don't really know. And it's really interesting to see some pictures from a place that I've never really thought of before. So I think that's kind of cool and I think that's really interesting. Now that those questions are out of the way, let's get into the bio. He is 21 years old and he shoots with an A7S Mark II and a DJI Mavic Pro, which is kind of interesting because they're not the most high megapixel cameras out there. I mean, they both shoot around 12 megapixels, so they're not the highest out there. I mean, there's a lot more that get a lot more megapixels than a little bit sharper images, but I think he uses the Leica pixels really well. I mean, he makes sure that he gets really nice dark scenes. They're very kind of like contrasty. So I think well, he knows what those sensors can provide and he really works to their advantage and their strength. So that just shows you how creative you can be once you know the equipment that you have very well and play to those strengths. What's even more interesting is that he only uses one lens for his Sony. He uses a 28 millimeter F2 Sony lens, which is a really nice compact lens. I've actually thought about getting one for myself because it's really nice lightweight and you don't have to worry about carrying it or throwing it in your backpack because it's so small. I mean, why not? Just throw it in there, chuck it in, and then you'll be fine for wherever you're gonna go for taking street photography, landscapes, and such. So I think that's a really cool lens and pair that with the low light capabilities of the A7S II, sweet awesome so getting into his gear dream goals he wants the oh so powerful oh so deliciously sharp sony 24 to 70 f 2.8 g master lens and it's mm, delicious i mean that's what i'm shooting on right now and you can see it's so crisp i mean it's shooting a horrible image but it's still a really cool lens and it looks fantastic so i totally get why he wants this lens beautiful jumping in what's more impressive is that he's only been shooting for eight to nine months i think a lot of the people that i've had on here have only been shooting for a few months anyways but so it's just really awesome to see young creators and like not even super experienced creators making such great stuff so really cool awesome kudos to you buddy because you're killing it your pictures look super dope i mean pretty awesome so that's it for future friday thank you guys so much for watching i would appreciate it if you would go give him a follow like or whatever on instagram i think that show a lot of appreciation to him and me and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if it's something that you are really into and give it a thumbs up give it a comment down below you know i really love reading those things so please 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 do it i look forward to it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out bye it's kind of difficult to do that one there's a lens hood on here probably take that off let me see boom all right here we go